Hello, One Ring. That is a spicy pack one, pick one. Hey, Nether Trader, thanks to the Saw, thanks to the 68 months. I'm gonna grab that Tamio. I think that card's worth second picking. Portal's good. I do think Tamiya wins more games. Tamiya is cracked. One ring flips it real easy, too. Oh, that's something you even want to do. Hmm. Just grab a talisman. Play the one ring a little faster. Helps that it's on color as well. Don't hate that. Oh, I did not think this was a Dance of the Dead track. Oh, there we go. I was like, where's the squealing guitars? <laughs> where's the riffs? Sipping on gin and watching Cube, a pleasant Tuesday. Yeah. I'm glad you're having a good one, Daniel Talk Time. Cheers, you. This is an interesting pack three. Lorian Revealed helps cut blue. Could just take top. Top's another card that plays well with Tamiyo. This helps you flip real easy. I think I want to take Lorien here. Just more card draw. Just all the card draw. So far this deck's uh, looking very different from our last deck, which all was also blue card draw focused. But this deck doesn't have any stinky green cards in it, so much better. Ooh, a balance. Shall we balance some fuels? I'm into it. The balance means that maybe I should grab the Tundra over the reveal, but we didn't know balance was coming. I'm a sucker for balance. I'm going to take Portable Hole over Winds, I think. A little bit better if we end up with Academy, which seems to be the direction we're aiming. Back talking the most recent trophy deck. Yeah, and I'd do it again. A little treachery action, maybe. Card's playable. Shion's. I think like half these cards were not legal <laughs> when Shion was streaming a lot. <laughs> Is this new metal? <laughs> Is this some uh, some rap artistry that we're listening to? This is that Samael band. Most of the tracks are kind of gothy, goth, goth rockish. Got the wheel in that sweeper. Run up the sweeps. Oh, mock sapphire action. Ooh, maybe I can wheel that opal, huh? Oh, nice, Gareth Meister. When, the first part of your story. Your building's fire alarm is borked. Sounds like a bad day. But it being early finished to work in some Oktoberfest beer, that sounds so much better. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a happy day. That's a happy story. Glad you're having a good one. I kind of feel like I should have a drink. All my viewers are drinking gin and Oktoberfest beer and stuff. But for me to have a drink, I would have to have uh, some kind of alcohol nearby me. I guess I've got St. George's. Single malt whiskey. I've got this Calvados VSOP that I've been working on. Ooh, Mana Crypt. Let's take a Mana Crypt. This deck is going to be sick. What else we got here? Oh, I got some um, some Jamaican rum. A special dry. Oh, and there's a little bit of this Highland Park 12-year-old Viking honor. So it seems like I got a few options here. I will be drinking straight from the bottle, like an animal. I think I'm going to aim for the Harland Park. I think I'm in a Viking sort of mood, and I'm the closest to killing it. 
That always feels good. It's like I accomplished something, right? <laughs> Killing something off. Cheers, everybody. You're supposed to pronounce the S in Calvados. Didn't I? Ooh, a little flooded strand action. That time warp is really good with one ring. I'm gonna take the strand anyway. Now we're getting this whole Steppenwolf all time greatest hits album, and I've still only recognized two of the tracks. Can I show the label of the Calvados? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me. Let me draft this pick first. Uh, a little Wandering Emperor action. All right, and now Spellbomb. A little card to store and play before I balance here. Yeah, this is the this is the label. Burneroy, BSOP. It's solid. It's decent. I really like Shorkai a lot. This is a really good talisman for this deck, but I'm gonna take the Shorkai here. Just one other infinite card draw engine. God, there's so much damage here. There's so much self-damage already between the Mana Crypt and the One Ring. We're going to add Ancient Tomb. <laughs> Brainstorm's kind of hot with Tamiyo. Kind of bad with the rest of the deck. Well, we got a couple shuffles. Yeah, let's draft it. That is a late counterspell, in my opinion. This isn't bad. This track's not bad. Ooh, that warp wheel. Get out of your confluence. No one likes you. This deck just became filthy. The warp with Tamio and the uh, fucking One Ring and Jace and stuff. I think we're gonna make some opponents pretty sad. You like how old rock bands talk about rock all the time? Yeah, right? In their lyrics? Nobody these days is like, are you ready to rock? <laughs> Let's get out and start jamming. Yeah, this this fucking breakdown rules actually. I'm gonna save this one. Hell yeah. <laughs> the Tanny is really good with this time warp. I don't think I want to add green for it, but it's an option. That rock song. Rocks! Is that Nurse's Saga? That card seems good here. You tell me not to play? When I was first learning to play the drums, I'd rock out to Twisted Sister. It was perfect for that. It's not a bad mystical tutor. Just tutor up this balance. And then there's another sweeper and a time warp too. There's also Colonnade here, and Retrofitter is so good with this saga. I should probably just grab the, the Retrofitter, huh? And the game somehow. Shooting through me. That music. I think this might be my favorite song where they sing about rocking. Rocking and rolling. There's a lot of bangers, though. The Eagles would have been another shuffle effect for Brainstorm. And Jace Brainstorms. Overall, I think they're worse than a Plains here, though. Nothing to fetch up. Hey, Anoxia, I think it's up 43 months. No thought for Fabled Passage? Nah, we're, we're, we can, like, dump our hands before we get to land number three. Fabled Passage is just it comes to play tap basic, right? Hello, Telerian Academy. Really glad I grabbed that retrofitter now, huh? Oh, this is the... They have that track on the intro to We're Not Gonna Take It, I see. I'm skipping through the music video. I don't want any of this, right? No, like, none of this. Like, no chance. Ooh. That's really a dream mage. I'm gonna take the duel. Can I afford it? Maybe I can't afford it. Maybe we pull these, and you'll get the playable count. It's like 17. Hmm. All right.
Ooh. Is there any filler in here? They were pretty solid. Scrounging for playables. All right, get back in, Mr. Confluence. Everyone likes you. <laughs> and then I think we're playing Apparition. Really don't like it in this sort of deck. It's really like anti what Balance is doing. You think it's my fault that you're more excited opening Academy than Power? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I get more excited about Academy too. You never see a Soul Ring tap for 10 mana, right? The music videos are pretty great. I'll play this. It's like a Tundra for my fetches. I'm like, yeah, I mean, we're short of playable, right? Is considered better than Skyclave? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want that City of Traders. It's a little tempting. Gotta have some lands produce mana here, huh? Colored mana, that is. This would be like 12 blue sources. I imagine we're gonna go lower down that than them than that. This is only five white sources. This would be 710. 710 Dece. That's like okay. It's a little iffy. The Saga can fetch a blue source too, and Academy accounts for like multiple blue by itself. We could we could eight nine we could eight nine. We can eight nine. <laughs> You're all worthless and weak. Why isn't my why why is my opponent taking so long to keep their hand? I wanna play my things. I wanna play my things. I'm so impatient. I think I'm gonna go with Sapphire considering. If I had a mana crypt, we could turn one the code. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer and a half. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shepard Sheka thinks the four dollars and twenty cents. Was there any consideration to Flicker Wisp? Nah, I don't like Flicker Wisp in this kind of deck. Flicker Wisp in my balance deck. Like, I, want, I want as few creatures in as possible. And if the creatures that I do play are going to have to like have a lot of synergy with the deck, right? Like this Tamiyo. Hey, Garth Meister J, thanks for the $4.20 there. Appreciate you. You know, I thought it'd be very easy to flip this fucking thing back. And I don't get my hand and I super can't do that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have even played the mox on turn one, huh? Just completely consider. It's gotta hit the co, right? Yeah, otherwise we just trade. Oh, there's a dam under there. Damn. I'm gonna pause this. It's like a 10 minute long track. Play these song requests in the order they were received. This is some squee screaming females. The track's called Lights Out. It's from the album Power Move. Should I play this retrofitter? Let's play it. We could activate retrofitter. I think I just want to crack a clue. Wait, are they countering their own? Oh, it says up to one. Okay. I need to un F6. I was like, why is everything resolving so fast?
you know what, Garth Meister? You know, I'm sorry. You know what, Mr. Confluence? <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> I looked over and I saw Garth Meister's uh, song request. My brain inserted. I do that with card names all the time too. I'll be like in the middle. I'll be mid sentence about a, talking about a different card. I'll draw a card for the turn and I'll say that new card name instead of like the one for the sentence. My brain trying to process new information. Yeah, you're all right too, Garth Meister. <laughs> to be clear. I'm kind of happy this Tidebinder is out of the way for my Shorokai. If I play the Shorokai pre-combat, they just don't Tidebinder the Tamiyo here. They save it to hit the Shorokai. I don't think I'm shorokai this turn anyway. I think I want to do this. And they just lose a lot of mana. Ooh, that's not a bad thing. Maybe we would have remanded the Tidebinder. I'm kind of happy with it in play, though, to be honest. Again, with the Shorkai here. I'm going to pause this. I'll come back to that track. I love that track. But we got a song request from Garthmeister. It's Motorhead. Hell yeah. And we still got to be a little careful here, right? Because the Spell Bomb can bounce the Tidebinder and they can replay it. Maybe not now. This should definitely be on the covers playlist, Tom. How does Tidebinder interact with the vehicles? It loses all of its abilities. It can't like really become a creature. Because crewing it's an ability. No, I blew up their crypt, Armoric. I attacked with the 2-2, they blocked with the 3-3, and then I blew up the crypt, which shrank their 2-2. Yeah, we blew it up. And I'd do it again. It's like really hard to lose when you're drawing three cards a turn. We'll see if I manage it, but I think we're in a good spot. Well, Mox Sapphire is already in the bin. Hmm. Could I activate here. Do I want to? Kind of. Yeah, let's activate.
Doop, 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 doop. Very cool. I have two tracks playing at once right now. There we go. <laughs> so discordant. Hmm, yeah, this all looks good. That was the game that Yuri could, yeah. Um, and then we just like bounce their board back up. I think I'm gonna flip this Tammy on turn one, that's what I think. Yeah, Tammy Brainstorm is cute. Is it good to instantly flip Tammy or is it better to wait? Depends on your hand. The group for this song is Big Fat Meanies. They've got a lot of bangers. I'm also a fan of uh, Meet Me at the Downbeat. Yeah, this hand has plenty of gas and stuff, so there's like we don't really need the clues. Maybe if we had Academy, we'd keep it around, but I think just upticking is good. It's like a different kind of pressure, right? The ult on the Tamiyo is you draw cards equal to half the number of cards in your library rounded up. And you get an emblem where you have no maximum hand size. So if I ulted two turns from now, I would draw, what, 14 cards? I guess a lot less if the short card starts drawing here. Not terrible? No, I've done it a few times in cube. It's I mean, it's a lot like activating a Grizzle Brand, right? I'm not sure what I'm playing around. It's just a nice instinctive time to activate. I definitely like activating before they play their third land, right? When they showed us Tidebinder and could have something like Hull Breacher in there. I don't think they have orcs or whatever. Okay, let's play Meet Me at the Downbeat. Another track by them. Should have considered before my land drop. Could have found Academy. If I find Time Warp, I might not even ult Tamio. Foot stomping. Got a nice scotch in my tummy. I have all the artifacts in the world in play. It was a good Tuesday. Hmm, that's a little troubling. No academy, huh? Very unlucky. Yeah, no academy, no time warp. Oh, short guy should be serving, huh? A bit faster of a clock.
I'm just gonna serve. Maybe I'll play this coat. Oh no, let's hold that mystic. This would be an embarrassing game to lose. Yeah, I don't think I even need to play this coat. I'm just gonna pass. If I really need to this way, I can like dig for a counter. I think we still got counter spell left, right? Yeah. That card doesn't matter. You have faith in me, <laughs> figuring out how to lose. I kind of want to let that resolve. I kind of... <laughs> the little demon inside my ears, like, let it resolve. <laughs> For the content! Next two, next two cards. Academy Walk. You should have activated, I guess. And they tied Binder and you had to play the counter. It's annoying. Hey, Blake all thinks the sod is six, seven months. I'm no fun, no fun, no fun McGillicuddy. That's what they call me. You keep this on the draw. I mean, you can turn two counter spell. I'm gonna mull. We got the fucking Moxin. We got stuff. What a nice early game card. Let's go to five. Oh. <laughs> this hand could do something. We'll see. Caleb the Cooler. That's what they call me. That's what they call me. I think I'm starting to get into this Octobi Optimus Rhyme folk. I'll balance might reward me for my double mulligan. Especially if I could rip a talisman or something, huh? Just ancient tomb, talisman, balance him. So balance here just makes them sack of land. Is that worth? Probably not. I deal myself two damage, you sacrifice one land, your turn. And we have not drawn an artifact, so this is going poorly. Yeah, I was worried about like a Minskin Boo or some, or Wheel of Fortune or some shit this turn, right? That's why I f fired off that aggressive balance. Well, Borrower is a nice answer to that. If I can find a blue source, nice. Should we brainstorm? Let's brainstorm. The brainstorm wasn't amazing, but at least we're like not locked here, right? We can go short Kai plus activate next turn. Or we can just hold up reprieve. They're both fine. We'll see what they do here. Real good chance we get wastelanded here with them untapping with the knight, but at least we have Shorkai going. They're also very close to triggering that Field of the Dead, right? Just one more lane drop. The song is both like amazing and irritating at the same time. This is good Colgan's command. I wish I still had my balance, huh? Now I wish I stole my Jace. Song requests are very open. We've already run a couple of today.
I kind of like chilling on the fa the Verdant until they've they do seventh land. I see they're just gonna get it back here. Hey, Panic thinks the ten bucks. They're gonna get a shitload of tutus, right? I need to play the borrower is bad because I need to find a sweeper now. The balance is gone. We have dam in here. So they just like make a shitload of two twos. And we find dam, then maybe we got a shot here still. They're still like thinning their whole deck. It's still not good for us, obviously. What if I was supposed to flip Tamio there? Yeah, I kind of regret not flipping Tamio, right? Like, it shrinks all their attackers, despite being a ton of time. Kind of glad they could only make four tutus there. Should we scoop to the strip mine? I'm going to scoop to the strip mine. Fastball and Crucible strip there. Kind of hate Lion Sash as a graveyard hate card, but I think we need a few more like answers, answer type cards. We'll cut Tring Mage and cut um, this thing. Oh, she went up. Hey, Attila the Fun thinks the sub these eight months. I'm a little tempted by the Reclamation. If they strip mine my, my Academy, I can like bring it back and use it on my turn. Portable Hole exiling the... Let's cut Consider for Rec. Portable Hole hits Fast Bond, which I think I want to do, because they are like kind of comboing. Yeah, Let's get a bit lower and revealed here, rather than run out Fondry or what have you. If they strip mine me, I don't want to be playing the Urza Saga on my next turn to bin the Lorien Revealed, right? I want to have a chance of activating the Saga. No fast bond. That's what I like to see. Uh, not that I'm aware of, Mastermind. To my knowledge, Spike got the closest, winning the finals of one of them. Let's play Panic Don't Panic Song Request. The message is, it is pitch black. This is MC Friend a lot. I was on an adult swim boat for some reason, and they had MC Front a lot there. But he wasn't, like, singing. He was just there on the boat, and people could go meet him. I don't know. I was like, I don't know that guy. I've been to a couple of nerd rap shows, but they've all had uh, MC Chris. Hmm, what you got, opponent? Well, it's not bad. Can't I just kill the Ren now? So we five them down to 14. Did I lose? If I get Mana Crypt there, I get to activate Retrofitter too. It's like slightly better.
Gilly wins. Time Warp's a pretty good card, right? It's a pretty good card. Well, that sounds super fun, Mr. Fluff and stuff. Yeah, I feel like MC Front a lot is one of the better known nerd rap artists, huh? A lot that can go wrong with this hand, but certainly not a balm. Hey, sup, Triflin. So tomorrow I got the MTGO Masters top eight. I believe my time slot is 4.30 Central Time on the Magic Online channel. Or Anzid, if you follow Anzid. I'm just going to pass. Hold up Counterspell here. Anyway, should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. It's a match for roughly like 200 bucks, I think. And then if I win, I get into the top four, of course. Awkward to counter this because we could touch it, but I'm just going to counter. Just going to counter anyway. Haley Dorb thinks the five bucks. Do you have a song request with that, Ladorb? <laughs> I didn't see it. They did have strip mine. Well, they tutored for it, huh? With the micro spawn. We saw strip mine in the first game. That's what I conceded to, was Tremine Recursion. Yeah, if you wanted to request a song, Lidor, just uh, post the link in the stream description. I didn't get it with your donation. I think it just doesn't go through sometimes. I just like not want to fucking flip today. No, in the chat here, Lador. Just post the link in the chat. Did I misspeak? I'll get you right now. We've listened to a lot of the Steppenwolf artist. Because YouTube thinks I want to hear their all of all of their top tracks. This is Dick Move by OK I OK. I think we win a mana crypt flip. Oh shit! Just the one though. Oh, it already activated the short guy. That's why Tamia didn't flip. Fair enough. Just pass the turn. Let's just pass the turn. This is kind of awesome. I'm feeling like kind of like a genius for warding in this reclamation right about now.
Oh, the Tammy should have served first. That's all right. One needs to have a pretty good turn. Oh shit, I haven't played Time Warp this game. I could crew the short kite and then blink it. I'm just gonna let this resolve. Well, I'll read private. They don't have a black man up right now. They only have two cards in hand. Ooh, hello. This game would be so much better if we had a blue-white duel, huh? We see we don't. Still gonna keep, but it's not as good as it looks. I don't think we code on two. I think we just like hold up reprieve here, because we like we can't trip me into a blue source. The bill has arrived. Oh, that's nice. Should I just exile this? Let's just exile that. I guess I could have just used Prismatic. It's probably better. Don't have to lose two life. Let's get this saga rolling. We can try again next turn. Activating now because if I hit Mox, I want to put the retrofitter out. I didn't. I didn't hit Mox. I'm the unluckiest. Mind twist a lot less scary when you're over your drawn three per turn, though, huh? Yeah, sure. You got some cards. I'm gonna go ahead and chump this. Shrieking Mage was taking over Band Trium, yeah. And I mean, we were, at the time, we were short on playables. We ended up being like a one or two cards short. And the Shrieking Mage has been solid. I think I can bin this. Not Academy, not Academy, not Academy. Yes. <laughs> Emperor of Bones. All right. Let's see what Anaxi wants to listen to. This is Polaris. Dissipate. Hmm. What is this? Is this Mellow Death? Is this Prague? Is this Metalcore? This live show looks like it has some sick fucking production value. You know, all these flames. Hmm. 
Sounds a little all that remains y to me. Hey, the Ziggs. Thanks for sharing that Prime. Thanks for 15 months. You don't know what it's called. You're old. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's probably too many metal genres. We don't need all those. What happened to my retrofit area? There it is. Got kind of twisted or something. You think it's mostly metalcore? Yeah, I would. I'd call it mellow death. Melodic death metal. Let's see what I'm I'm interested. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. It's usually pretty good. I call it metalcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You write, you write. Just straight metalcore. Yeah, I hadn't heard a breakdown. Oh, right, Tammy, I should attack first, right? I keep doing that. I keep doing that shit. Hey. How sketch is this mana crypt? So we would lose two, go to six, time warp. On the extra turn, colonnade could serve. What does this need to crew it? Hmm. Yeah, it's just fucking pass. I'll let the, I'll let the next track play. There is indeed a wandering emperor in this deck. Let's leave on top again. Oh, Hex Drinker. This is a band that I think I could listen to. Like once or twice a day. But wouldn't want to go deep on. Which is pretty much how I feel about all the remains. Players is sick. I mean, they sound quite good. And their live show looks extremely impressive. Hmm, well, that's annoying. I mean, cracking my spell bomb was, an, was a mistake, huh? But Tamio can down take on Mystic Confluence and bounce the attract zone. But I was hoping to down take on this time warp. I was um, hoping for a real sick turn next turn. I think we still have lethal here. We'll see what they do. I don't think this balance does anything. That's a sick breakdown. I guess the Caleb DMDG seal of approval there. Hey, Anaxia thinks of five dollars. Anaxia's got one more request here for us. Me, yeah, I would like an extra turn. Hmm. 
I suppose I'll rebuy this, huh? Oh, a card worth rebuying. I guess I should activate this short guy, hum. Hey, Drigger of Sorrow thinks the 96 months there. So on our next turn, uh, the TMU can down take on the Time Warp again. If we lose the Mana Crypt flip, the Wandering Emperor can down take on a Pilot token. Again, us go up to four life, right? So we don't, um, we're not at risk of dying there. And then between what we have on board and the colonnade, we can wrap things up here. Well, they're doing reanimator -y things, huh? I probably want some Lion Sash action. Over. Consider again. Makes sense to me. Tamiyo is filled with time walks. It really is, right? <laughs> One mana Tamiyo and four mana time Tamiyo. That is a bottle of scotch. I got this bottle of scotch as a birthday present. It is just now deceased. That sounded very metalcore to me. <laughs> the guitar is like answering each other and then switching on to the next uh, riff really quick. Hello. What do you even put back, huh? I don't know whether to Saga or Academy next turn. I think I'm going to Academy. I don't think I want to activate Saga the turn after. I think I want to put this one ring. Ooh. Hello. Is that good? Maybe, maybe this is bad. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right. I kind of want to draw a card with Spell Bomb. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. No, my Academy. Hey, the last 23, thinks the 39 months. Ooh. Touch could reset the one ring. Something tells me we're probably not casting this balance this game. Siju who endures right on time. I bet your food's good here. I'm just going to grab Sapphire. Don't want to activate this one ring yet because it flips Tamiyo. Yeah, I don't actually want to cast the Touch for Spirit Realm. I think I want to use it to blink my one ring. Let's just run out this Sash just in case we need it. Do I bring the Windmills or the Spin Kicks to the span? Neither Bluff. So when I was in when I was in high school, I went to a lot of metalcore shows because I was in a like a garage metalcore deathcore band. 
and we hated the spin kickers more than anything. <laughs> we really just wanted people to mosh. <laughs>